Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. It's been a portion of your day with me. It really means a lot to me. Today, I have a video request. It is to do a soft baby pink look for Valentine's Day. It was requested by my mommy, so of course I gotta do it. I gotta listen to mommy. But as you all know, I love baby pinks. I've been into the baby pink vibes. My clothes, my shoes, my purses, my nails, not so much my nails, but now, um, always baby pink, always blush pink, never really my makeup because I used to wear pink a long time ago. I used to only wear pink, so I kind of got sick of it, but now I'm getting back into baby pinks. All the baby pink vibes started like, I would say like December because I felt like those softer tones, those softer baby pink tones or like the blush pinks for winter also i love vampy colors for winter as well so it just depends but we are going to do a soft baby pink get ready with me i do have my base on and my brows just because those are really personal you know what i mean like the way i do my brows isn't the way you do your brows i have oily grease ball skin so you may have dry skin so just use your foundation do your brows i did get my brows waxed today i think he went a little bit thinner also, I am sick. I do live in San Antonio, Texas. The weather has been batshit crazy. So, I am suffering from allergies and sinuses. That's why I sound like this. If this bothers you, I am so sorry. Um, skip ahead a few videos <laughs> because the next few videos will probably be the same. Although, my voice is coming back. The, the past few days, I haven't really been able to talk. I haven't been able to film either, but today I can film, so you get this raspy cold voice <laughs> but if you are new here hi hello my name is erica ashley i love all makeup and beauty things i love eyeshadow palette tutorials um get ready with me shopping your own stash project panning i love to incorporate new and old makeup here on my channel so if that interests you i love you to give this video a big thumbs up Subscribe before you go and turn on the notification bell so we're on the future uploads. Also follow me on Instagram for the latest and greatest daily shenanigans in my little life. I am in pre-nursing school. I am a wife. I am a stepmom of two boys. I have three dogs, two fish tanks. I am a plant mom. Although I think my plants are dying this winter. And I have a baby tortoise, so I am a shale mom. And um, lots of family. So if that interests you, Follow me there so you can see my daily post shenanigans of what is going on. Let's go ahead and get into this soft pink. Get ready with me. Alrighty, my beautiful friends. Grab a drink, grab a snack, grab a hot tea, grab a beverage. Um, I had school today. I got my eyebrows waxed. I don't think that I like them. I think he went a little bit too thin. Um, I always get my brows laminated, but the past two times that he's done them, they've only lasted not even two weeks, and I pay over 100 like $120 for them, and then you add a tip, of course, so I'm like, I'm not going to pay that to last two weeks. My other gal, and I told him today, and he was like, well, maybe it's just your hairs. I'm like, normally I don't say anything. But I told him, I was like, no, I said, because I used to go to this other gal, I said, but she moved away, and it lasted six weeks, so, <laughs> I'm like, I didn't say it in a mean way or anything, but it did, like, it's, I know it's not my hair, it's because hers lasted, and she was, he's been doing it 16 years, I think she's been doing it like two or three, so, I'm not too sure, she took a class, he did not, he did, he did it on his own, so. That just goes to show you, you definitely need certifications when doing things just because, you know, you've been in the business 16, 17, 20 years. You don't know everything. You knew everything back then, but things are progressing. Anyway, that's not the point of the video. I'm just a little bit bummed that I couldn't get my brows laminated because I love to have my brows laminated. That's like my favorite thing. Alrighty, so we are going to do a baby pink look with the Profusion Mauves. This was in, um two years ago my valentine's day and um also i know a lot of you love affordable makeup this eyeshadow palette was five dollars so me and my mom were texting i was like what eyeshadow palette would you like me to use i already had this one in mind and i had the color pop stone cold fox one and she was like what about that pink palette you showed the perfusion i'm like 
that's exactly what I was thinking. And so we're going to go ahead and do a soft baby pink look. So we're not even going to get into these deeper tones, which you know that I love. So we are going to go ahead and take, um, I can hold this up because it's my mirror. Lovely right here. Look how beautiful this palette is. Oh, so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and take Lovely. I will insert swatches right here. Um, I'll do that after. I, I'll take off my sweater and go ahead and do that, but I'll just insert the clip. I still like um, Morphe brushes. I have quite a bit of them, so I just personally like them. And I'm sorry, I'm going to be sniffling. So I think my eyes okay. It's a lot better than what it was, so it's not dry. But it's just been raining here. Um, like, it's been like 30 and then 70 and then 40. And then it's been raining the past two days. I do suffer from terrible allergies, terrible sinuses. Um, I wasn't a sinus suffer, sufferer until just recently, but I've been like talking to my mom and she's like, those are sinuses and her switch too. She was a sinus sufferer and now she's allergies. I've always been allergies. So we're going to try to make this as soft as we can. Cause like that's really kind of like a little bit dark, but it's okay. Um, and you know me, I like to do a few shades. Oh, look, what is going on right here? I think my eye is um dry oh you see I don't know if you can see that okay but it's okay it's okay also he just waxed so maybe he left it up something I'm not too sure but I don't really like my wax job that he did but <sighs> I'm gonna do the same thing to the other eye Alrighty, um, I'm just going to take like a little brush like this and we are going to go in with Kindly right there. Just a, like, um, I don't know, like a neutral pink with a peach. I'm just going to buff that above so we can get a, just a little bit softer. I don't know how soft my mom wants it, but when I think of babe, like soft, I think of like, you know, super light, not pastel, but just light. So... We're just going to go ahead, we put our little bit darker base and just going to lighten it up. Some people do it backwards. Sometimes I like to do this way where I put the darker one and I could go ahead and lighten it up. See how there is a difference, just a little bit softer because we're going to use these softer shimmers. And I will be using a glitter glue and I'm going to use one of these shades as a blush since that. Um... It just blends so beautifully. Oh, I do want a lot of the profusions, but like I said, I'm on a no buy. I'm only can buy 26 palettes for the year, so I that's a lot. Yeah, I know. So I have to be very cautious because there's new things. Profusion hasn't put anything new out, so we are gonna go in with this guy right here. It is called Femme, and that's so pretty. Just let's see this one too. Let's go ahead and go with this one. This one right here. That one looks more pink. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's going to look like without a glitter glue right there. And then on my other eye, we're going to do a glitter glue. That is just, and I always set down. You can build it up too. You can use a wet brush. I always set down my eye with primer, um, I mean with powder after my concealer. I do want to do a video where I don't set it. I do my eyes first, so that video is coming soon with something that I recently bought. Um, I may do it with the palette that I already know to see if it's the technique or the palette, but I don't know why I don't like a, ta I can say ticky, a tacky base, sticky, tacky, so... A little bit of glitter glue, and we're going to go ahead and do this the other eye. 
This will just be a soft day look. And then this could be if you want to zhuzh it up. So if you've ever heard zhuzh, please let me know. My husband never heard of that. He's like, you're making up words. <laughs> he never heard of zhuzh. And I'm like, uh, so like Marco Polo, my mom, I'm like, mom, you said zhuzh before. She's like, yes. My husband never heard of it. And my stepson, my oldest, he never heard of it either. See, that is just, you have to have a glitter glue. I'm obsessed. Why did it take me so long? I just thought everything would just crease and smear underneath. I thought it would just be a hot ass mess. So pretty. Like, look at the difference. And then, this is beautiful too, but if you want that sparkle, add a glitter glue. I'm going to go ahead and add a glitter glue to the other side, and we're going to do the lower lash line and then the rest of the face and the lip too. Look at that sparkle. This oh, so pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead and take this one with no additional product. This is just the shade that we, you know, lightened it out with, and I don't know what the hell is going on. It was this side, now it's this side, but there's no telling. I'm just going to go ahead and with no additional product, just kind of make sure everything's nothing too crazy. The shimmers haven't, you know, gone all over the place. I'm going to take a little shader brush and um, I will go ahead and take, what is this called? Monsoon and then put that on the lower lash. I just like a darker lash. You could put whichever color that you do want, but I will be blending it out with a light color so I just want a little something something and I like pink and reds in my eyes you know I'm sick right now but I don't think it makes me look sick so I just just a smidgen of color and then let me find another brush I did wash all my brushes okay this is a Morphe E36 and I'm gonna go ahead and take um lovely and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out that was the first color that we used um if you do watch Samantha not Samantha Sarah Rose she is um she has some pan on this palette and this one is her palette of the month and um I, I, I it's my first time using this one honestly I bought it for a Walmart video <laughs> and I used it I bought a few palettes I think two or three Profusion and um I use the other ones. No, I bought two, the green one and then um this one, and then I ended up buying another one that looked kind of like fall. And then I'm gonna take whatever brush is dirty. The same color. Why am I backwards? This one right here to blend it out just a bit more because I think it's a little bit too pink. Maybe I should have went in with that one. Um, I also am on my dot, that time of the month right now, so my brain is a fog. I was in school, and uh, this is my first time having a period in college, like, now, right now. And my brain was just not comprehending what my statistics class, like, I was like, what? <laughs> um, but I know it's the, it's the period, the time of the month. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with Opal. That is actually my birthstone. I am born in October. And then opal. We're going to do that. Oh, can't sit like this, Erica. The inner corner. And this is like a little romantic date night. Very easy. You could, you know, wear it during the day. If you don't want that, you know, that much shimmer, um, don't use the glitter glue. Do I have fallout? Not really. Um, I think my nose, there's like a piece missing on my nose of makeup, but I probably blew my nose or touched it. And I'm going to go ahead and take this pink ColourPop. This is in um, Fluffy. I'm going to take that on my waterline. I'm going to pause it because I know some people freak out <laughs> when you touch eyes. And can you tell the difference between the pink one and the not one? The not one. My brain is, my brain is um, missing today. 
And then this is my Urban Mascara at the moment. Have you ever tried a tubing mascara? This is a Thrive Cosmetics Lash Extension. This is in, this was new. I think I got it in BoxyCharm. And um, I never use a tubing mascara. I was always like, what the hell? It's going to be too chunky. I love tubing mascara. So I'm going to do one eye and then show you. If I was leaving my house, I would definitely put on false lashes. Um, but I am staying home. I'm doing homework. I got to read a chapter and do a quiz. That's due tomorrow. So um, I will not be putting on lashes because I'm just going to be home. So lashes and liner. Mascara just makes everything better, doesn't it? Okay, and this is the eye look. Just in case you're just curious. But I will be doing the rest of the face and showing you. I'm going to go ahead and take um, Fem, the first color that I wanted to use. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that under the brow. I used to always skip this step. And then once I started to do my brow lamination, which was over a year ago, then I started to do under the brows but it just depends if they're clean um I don't tweeze it hurts me really bad and my eye is water so I don't tweeze I get wax and I'm not a cheap ass like with the lamination but I'm not gonna pay like 140 to last two weeks like there's no way in hell that I would do that like I'm actually going to buy the stuff myself my the girl who did them before, she's, I was like, what did you use? I told her what was going on. She's my friend, like, we would exchange services and stuff like that. Like, I would do services on her, she would do services on me, we would just barter. And she sent me what she got, but I just hadn't got a chance. She sent me before vacation, so I didn't want to do it and fuck up my brows before vacation. So I was like, oh, I'll do it. And then I just forgot, honestly, so um, that's why I haven't bought it. But I feel like this is more like a softer pink. So we're going to go in with the Milani Silky Matte Bronzer. And then a Morphe M581 brush. I need to wash my brushes for this weekend. This is Valentine's weekend. Let me know what you are doing. If you celebrate. If you do Valentine's. If you do Galentine's. Um, if you are single and you say fuck Valentine's Day. Let me know if you're married and don't celebrate hey that's cool too um i don't really know what me and my husband are doing my husband's really busy with work he works for an ac company and here in texas that's much needed especially with the cold and everything and then me with school it's tuesday so tuesday i have class 9 25 i have to be in class at 9 25 so gotta wake up get dressed drive park walk so i gotta leave about an hour before school because i you know it is downtown san antonio and sometimes it could be crazy sometimes i get lucky though so we are going to go ahead and take i'm going to get a clean brush because this is my blush brush and this is just a clean brush and this is the real techniques real techniques blush brush we are going to go in with lovely i also have this duo which is ever so lovely but just to show you that you don't need other items like if you're in a pinch we're gonna use this one for the highlighter and the blush you know what highlighter too so um let's go ahead and go in with lovely just gonna kind of coat it I did a full face one palette um, once. I got the idea from Sarah Rose and I did the my Pan Matte palette. I plan to do my Pan Matte palette and make it a series too, but I just kept forgetting. So that's very light. So we're going to go in with, let's go in with this one. Just a little dip. This is Love Struck. Just, just a little, a little smidge. Yeah, just so you can put a little color. Little color. And I'm so sorry. I feel like I sound so annoying. Let's go in with Ballad. They're not, it's not that it's pigment, not pigmented, but I just like, I'm trying to keep it soft. Soft. 
soft, Erica. Soft. Oh, we need this one. So, my highlight brush is a Real Techniques setting brush. And we're going to go in with Opal. And we're going to highlight the shit out of our face. Because I love some highlight. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I still do my cupid's bow to make it look like I have a highlighted mustache. I still like to do the tip of my nose. And then using a palette as a full face, I would never have done that. Like the palette, the Norvina, I use it as a blush, bronzer, and highlight. And I was so impressed. I'm like, damn, I love my makeup today. <laughs> very soft, very soft. I'm going to set it with a glowy setting spray. This is in a project that is my Pixie Glow Mist. This one could be a little glowy, a little dewy. I'm not going anywhere, so it's okay. Then I always have a fan on deck. Now for the lip, we're going to do a baby soft pink lip. All right, so I put out some options. Um, I originally wanted to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. This is the lip liner. And then I got it like a mini set. It was $25. And then I had... Um, that one. That's not too much pink. It's more nude. So we let me see what we want to do, what I want to do. Um, I have the Fenty Lip Cream. The lip creams are actually my favorite in Cupcaking. That one. And if you want to do a little bit darker, I have the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in Back Talk. So these are just some options, whatever one you want to choose. I think I'm filling this one. My mom did say she wanted a soft pink. So let me think about this. I think I'm going to go with back talk. Sorry, mom. But if you have this one, you know what? This one is softer. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and do it. And actually, Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are my absolute favorite. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. I would have paired a little bit darker just because that's my taste, that's my tones. Um, but I do love this and I love the Charlotte Tilbury formula. If you're interested in trying, trying anything from Charlotte Tilbury, get a little pack. This is $25 for a mini and a lipstick. Because honestly, I don't know many people that have one lipstick. So <laughs> it'll take a while to go through this. But this is the completed soft baby pink look. Mom, I hope you're happy. I did go light on the highlight. The blush and the bronzer and the lip and the eye. I love this look. It is very soft. It is very subtle. It is very day night appropriate. It is Valentine's appropriate. Let me know what you think. Don't mind this. I had a pimple. Alrighty, my friends, this is the completed look for my baby soft pink Valentine's look. Let me know what you're doing for Valentine's Day if you do celebrate. I know pink is a very popular color. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I absolutely love it. And I'm getting more into the pink makeup. I took a huge break, but I'm back into the pinks now. So I just love a glitter glue. And um, I had that tube for an embarrassing number of years. Didn't even use it. It was just sitting in a drawer. And I have a, I don't know why, Erica, that you do those things to yourself, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm a makeup monster. If you are here to the end, leave any little pink emoji heart. So I know you made it to the end of my get ready with me. If you have any other video suggestions, please let me know, let me know down below and I will definitely get around to doing them. It may not be the next video that I film, but it will definitely be coming soon. Just with scheduling and stuff like that and updates. 
sometimes it does take a long time to get around to. But I hope you enjoyed this look. I mentioned that again, so I know it's going to be a little bit longer video. And I am sick too, so I'm sorry about that. My eyes are on fire is another reason why I wouldn't put on lashes today either. But I would definitely rock this look out with a black dress and a pink coat and um, boots. Hell yeah. Um, we might be going to a birthday party this weekend. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll do this, but with the darker lip or cream, who knows? And my lips are a little bit chapped. My eyes are a little bit chapped. I will see you in my next one. And don't forget to leave those pink hearts. I love you all. Happy Valentine's Day. And stay tuned for future videos. I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.